Marina and welcome to my kitchen. This morning I was inspired. I got up really early. The dogs got me up and Rick stayed in bed and I that's kind of like one of my favorite times of the day is when everybody's sleeping except for me. And I come out and I made the coffee and I sat down at the computer and checked my email and went through my YouTube videos and um, I've subscribed to Jamie Oliver's channel. Many of you know that I absolutely adore Jamie Oliver. He's just awesome. And he put up a video where uh, he and his little girls made some pancakes. Now I know that pancakes are a really simple thing, but they were so beautiful. The, the girls were beautiful. Um, he made them with his children. And, and that inspired me. One of the things that he did with his pancakes was he grated some uh, pear up into the pancakes and just cooked them. And so fantastic idea. His little girls weren't teenagers. No, his little girls are little. I would oh. say they're maybe, they were maybe five, six, seven in that area. Just as cute you, as a button. You can't get teenagers out of bed in the morning no, and make you, breakfast. You so. can't. You can't. That's why ours aren't. That's very here. true. <laughs> but um, I thought, you know what? I'm going to make some of those pancakes and I'm going to do it on the video and I'm going to share it with you and hopefully maybe you'll go ahead and make some pancakes too. I know pancakes are a simple thing, but this was so simple, I didn't even bother to think about it. I, you know what, I usually use the Krusty's pancake mix and add water, but you don't have to do that. This was so beautiful, I had to make it. And I'm gonna try and do this as a video response to his video. He has a fabulous YouTube channel. I'll put a link in the box below. I'll put a link to the video where he makes the pancakes with his little girls, because you are just gonna die, it's so cute. Okay, so let's make pancakes. Let me grab my baking powder. Um, Jamie used self-rising flour, but I don't I don't buy self-rising flour. So if you get a recipe that calls for self-rising flour and uh, and you don't have self-rising flour, just remember that all you have to do is put a teaspoon of baking powder for every cup of flour and a half a teaspoon of salt. And I'm not going to add the salt in here just yet. We'll add that in a little while. So. I've got my milk, and I'm just using my Gosner shelf stable milk. Um, and I'm going to use. We have to do a milk run today. We do have to do a milk run today. It's true. So, for, this is basically equal parts of milk and flour. Okay, so I'm because I'm cooking for us. I'm doing two cups of milk and two cups of flour. Like I said, I don't have self-rising flour, so I'm going to use two cups of flour. Simple stuff. I'm going to toss in two teaspoons of uh, baking powder. That was easy. And I'm going to grab my salt. I have my cast iron griddle heating up on the stove. I'm going to use a half a teaspoon of salt and I'm going to go let the dogs in the house. And I'll be right back. Come on, in. Okay. And we're going to put an egg for every cup of milk and every cup of flour. You put in one egg. Okay. Give that a whisk. Poke that yolk. And it doesn't have to be perfectly smooth. You know, pancake uh, batter, it's okay if it's a little lumpy. The one thing that Jamie did, like I said earlier, he grated a pear. <laughs> it didn't work so good. He grated a pear into that pancake um, batter, and I thought it was so awesome. I have these apples here, and they really need to get used. So peel, and honestly, he really he he grated that pear, and he grated the core and everything into it. So that's good fiber, and I'm hitting you with the apple and everything else, right? I 
talaga ako kay Gigi Nancy. So, I'm just going to go ahead and grate this apple in here. And then my my fellow Homestead Honey Hour Honey um, Michigan Snow Pony, she sent me the most incredible bottle of maple syrup from Michigan for Christmas. And I have got to tell you, it is the most delicious, bestest maple syrup I have ever eaten. And I'm not kidding. I'm not saying that just because she sent me that for Christmas. It looks fabulous. All right, I'm making a giant mess. Making a mess is half the fun. I'm gonna give this a good stir. You can throw, you wanna throw some seasonings in here. If you wanna throw some cinnamon or some nutmeg, go for it. I'm not gonna. Go back to the plastic one. What? What? Go back to the plastic one. There we go. Okay, so this one looks like it's ready to flip. You can just do that. Ah, see, that one's perfect. That's what you want it to look like. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cook the rest of these off, and when we come back, I'll fix you a stack of apple pancakes. Okay, our pancakes are all done, and I tell you, I took a taste, and they're amazing. They're so simple. I, I know I keep saying it. Pancakes are simple, but if you don't know where to start with them, they're not simple. And equal parts flour and milk. If you're not using self-rising flour, use a teaspoon of baking powder in with your flour and a little bit of salt and one egg, you know, uh, per cup of milk and flour that you use. I grated that apple in there and it gives it so much texture and it's, it's got a lightness and these are the fluffiest pancakes I have ever eaten. And I'm not a big pancake fan, to be quite honest with you. No, you're not. Um, <laughs> pancakes are one of those things we all have that where it always sounds better than it is to me, but every now and then I really do enjoy some pancakes. But this plate I'm fixing is gonna be for Rick. I'm gonna get some butter out of my butter bell here. If y'all don't have a butter bell, I highly recommend it. They're um, amazing. They're fantastic. Because you can keep your butter at a soft, spreadable temperature all the time. And uh, with that little bit of water that's in there, it, uh, it really does make a difference in keeping it fresh. Mm -hmm. They've used these for centuries in Europe, so um, I, I highly recommend them. Do you want honey or maple syrup? Maple syrup. Okay. And this is that fabulous maple syrup that Renee sent me. Maple syrup honey. Maple syrup honey? No, maple syrup or honey. Oh, I get it. <laughs> Duh. Okay, I had a little bit in this cup over here. I'll just pour that on there because <clears throat> Rick's a grown-up, and he can have as much damn syrup on his pancakes as he wants. Isn't that right? Never allowed to as a kid. <laughs> None of us were. All right. Jamie Oliver also put, um, he gave them to his kids with a dollop of uh, Greek yogurt and some honey, and that looked so nice. Um, you could put sour cream on there if you want, have it like a blintz, or some cottage cheese, whatever. Uh, we're not going to do that this morning here. I'm out of yogurt for one thing, and um, I don't really think we need the extra calories from yeah, we're doing sour cream. American pancakes. We're doing more traditional variety. So that's our pancakes a la Jamie Oliver, inspired by his beautiful daughters, Daisy and Poppy. Thank you so much for teaching me how easy it is to make pancakes, even though I've been making them forever. Okay, so... I hope you try it. I hope you love it. I hope you check the links out to Jamie Oliver's YouTube channel, which is Jamie Oliver's Food Tube, which I think is so cool. And thanks for stopping by this morning. I hope you have some pancakes later. Till next time, I'll see ya.